Hi, this is Lori and today's thought. You know, I just was listening to someone who was talking about being without emotions. And that prompted me to do this little video. I uh, have lived with depression. I lived with the state of what they call anhedonia, that is, without emotions, for about a year. And uh, I suppose it's probably about as close to what I would consider hell on earth uh, that, as I can even imagine. And I want to acknowledge something and and say how very, very grateful I am to the fact that during that time, my father, who had a bit of anxiety disorder and who lived to worry about his children, he gave me shelter. He allowed me to live in his home. But what's really miraculous and I look up look back on this and I think this is something that I really want to acknowledge and say you know God works in very mysterious ways during that whole year and I'm talking about a year in which I only came out of the room to have something to eat and and some days I didn't even do that it was it was a serious clinical depression my father didn't ask me anything, which was really, really unusual for him. He didn't outwardly worry about me, which was really, really uh, unusual. It was like the hand of God reached down and stayed him from doing those things. He simply allowed me to be. And I know, I know he prayed a lot. Of course he did. But he didn't push. And he didn't let his anxiety spill over into my life. And the reason I'm talking about this is that I think there are a lot of people who go through really rough times. And when we have someone in our lives who just simply allows us to be and simply loves us, that's exactly how we're supposed to treat ourselves. And, you know, I'm, I'm going through a real process right now where I'm reaching down in and discovering depths of love for myself that I've never experienced before. And I think about how my father treated me during that time. And I'm, I'm thinking, you know, that was such a gift. That was a huge gift to me to show me how I can treat me. So if you are going through any times when you're feeling less than confident, uh, less than... Um, fully alive, be easy on yourself. Treat yourself the way my dad treated me. Simply love yourself. Love yourself. And then pick yourself up when you can and get on with your life. That's my thought for the day.